from LA Late News headquarters in Santa Monica. This is Mornings, LA Late. It's a big Saturday early morning mornings here on LLA with incredible details about your fourth stimulus check updated 2021 today. The voting starts next week and we'll be going over all the incredible details as the president calls the vote for the reconciliation process to begin. And John Paul speaks out about the entire process. It's all wonderful news. We'll be going over all the details you need to know about this monthly stimulus check. Then we'll be cutting to fifth stimulus, which has another stimulus check, but also raises your benefits up a lifetime. And the breaking news that came in from the head of the Federal Reserve of St. Louis on Friday that caused more thoughts that your benefits may go higher than initially believed. Wow, that's wonderful news. Then the middle of the recording, we go over the thousands of dollars of money you can get right now, and it's all available for you. It's a big early morning's broadcast. The toast is toasted. The butter is buttering. I'm here. You're here. I'm excited for a big weekend, and I'm going to be with you all weekend long, live on air. Let's get to the details, starting right now, this moment, this Saturday morning, here on Apple Life. Happy Saturday morning. You made it to the weekend. weekend. Congratulations. That is an achievement unto itself. Ready to crush the weekend? <laughs> Don't let the weekend crush you. Uh, hope the weather is good where you are. Boy, we've had good weather here in Santa Monica since Friday. It was horrible on Wednesday, but that heat wave went away after you hit the like button. <laughs> It works. Hit the like button if you hope for good weather where you are. But first, tell me where you're tuning in from and how's the weather. Jump in the live chat right now or on the comments. Tell me where you're watching from and how's the weather. In this Fortune with Chuck update of 2021 today, we'll be going over what's happening next week, especially on Monday, and what the president said about calling the vote. Then we'll be turning to what Jalapal said about the whole process going into the weekend. It's wonderful news. Then we turn to fist stimulus that raise your benefits up lifetime, but potentially a lot more than initially thought because of where inflation's going. And we also get another stimulus check. Those details coming up later in this video. And then in the middle, we go over the big thousands of dollars of viewers continue to get. It's your opportunity to get it as well. And this is Adelaide, if you're new to this channel. The only 24-hour day, seven days a week financial news channel, live in the morning and taped in the afternoons. At the time you're watching this show, Overnight's Crypto is currently airing. Stay with this show. It'll automatically take you to that show right after this one is over. And the, then I'm back with you and live on air with Morning to Late at 9, then at noontime at 11 a.m., and then tape shows in the afternoons. 400,000 subscribers, a YouTube record in one year. Hit that subscribe button right now. I want you to become a part of this family. Subscribe right now. 400,000, next stop, 1 million. Subscribe this moment. Also, like this video. Two, 3,000 likes and consider becoming a member. Let's get right into that monthly stimulus check of the fourth stimulus check update. Part one of three parts in this video. First, let's go over how many months of checks. House, pandemic plus one year. Senate, July to December, so six of them. Let's go over the payouts. Well, they're slightly different. House, $1,000 a month. After the first month, 2000 Senate, an amount unknown, but word on the street is it's this. OMG, yes. That's reportedly what the Senate Democrats want you to have. $2,000 a month over six months, $12,000. Or $1,400 a month over six months, $8,400. Now, before you get into the live chat and vote, because I want you to vote, how's the Senate where you're tuning in from as well and how the weather is, we want to look at something else, and it's this again. Pandemic plus one year? Well, legislators may contend the pandemic is over. That would reduce Jalapal's House bill to just one year of checks. How much is that? One year of checks is $13,000. Let's compare that now to the senator's over six months? <laughs> which one do you like now? I think you have an opinion. Jump in the live chat. Senator versus House. Senator House, tell me which one you like. Vote right now, Senator House, and tell me where you're tuning in from and how's the weather. All right, let's go over all the other details you need to know about that four symbols check this early mornings on Saturday here in LA. Well, 
who gets a fourth stimulus check? You do. Democrats want everyone who got a third stimulus check to get a fourth stimulus check. So single individual, 75,000 or less, Democrats want you to have a fourth stimulus check. Married couple, 150,000 or less, Democrats want you to have a fourth stimulus check. Double it. If you are a family of four, Democrats want you to have a fourth stimulus check. Quadruple it. And if you're on benefits, Democrats would give you a fourth stimulus check. SSI, SSDI, Social Security, railroad benefits, and veteran benefits. Congratulations. Four stimulus checks are not income, so they are not taxable. Good news there. And four stimulus checks come out monthly. So they do not come out in waves, these four stimulus checks. They don't come out in waves. They're not waveable checks. So if you see the check walking down to the street to you, next to you, and you try to wave at the check, it will not wave back and you will think it's rude. Hey, check, going to see the Dodgers? What a rude check. Must be an Angels fan. <laughs> Don't wave at the check. The check will wave back at you. Uh, and you won't know what game it's going to. <laughs> So there you go. It's not a waveable check. Can't wait. Uh, <laughs> Democrats represent that the final vote will be by July 4th. Good. So we don't have to wave anymore. <laughs> and then the, and a wave we go. Uh, the fourth stimulus check for the month of July would land in the month of July. And then the month of August, you would get the check for the month of August. And there you go. That is the first of three parts of your fourth stimulus check updated 2021 in this video. But in the second part, we're going to go over Jala Paul's new statements. We're going to go over the president's new call of the vote. We're going to go over what's happening next week. And in the third part of this of the fourth stimulus check update of this video, we'll be going over everything you need to know about how they can condense the time and get this done faster next week. But first, let's get a preview of the second half of this video. It's fifth stimulus. And who would think that the federal chair out of St. Louis suddenly surprised everyone, caused Wall Street to crash, caused crypto to crash, and suddenly gave us a nice oomph lift of our fifth stimulus benefits that's just a weird variable i did not have them on my bingo sheet for 2021 that's coming up in the second half of this video more benefits and a lot more than we ever thought and a fifth stimulus check yes that's coming up later in this video but now let's get some money money if you're new to this channel that's what i do i'm not a person who just stands in front of a blank background and reads a script or someone that tracks such a stimulus check rather i give people money in April of last year, I got viewers $25 million to save their businesses, their homes for the EI, with the EID alone, and their employees' homes. And then in fall of 2020, the second stimulus was not going out. So I stepped up and I got people a quarter million dollars of rent and utilities. Now we're doing it again on this channel, every single day, every moment of this channel, helping people get money. And let's get to that money right now. It's your turn to get that money. Get that pen and paper ready. Or if it must be a Crayola crown, then it's a Crayola crown. So long as it's a black one. <laughs> Uh, see you at the very end because I got a lot of money to get you this video. And we're going to start with some rent, mortgage assist assistance, utilities, and homeowners utilities. The rent is a lot of money. It's about $5,000, about four to six months of rent. Tim and Linda got some of this money. So let's go over where you're going to get it. But first, I want you to know that every place has different routing, it has different eligibility. So if one says no, don't worry, reach out to the next. All right, you ready? Here we go. You're going to reach out to City Hall, City House Authority, County Hall, County House Authority, State Hall, State House Authority. Keywords you're going to say are rent assistance because of COVID. Rent assistance because of COVID. Um, or mortgage assistance because of COVID. You don't say words they don't know. Don't do that. Don't say words they don't know, like um, uh, stimulus. <laughs> they don't know that word. Or uh, Mitch's bell-bottom jeans. <laughs> they don't know that word either. And I don't think they want to think about that one either. Bad visual. Uh, so no, they don't know these words. Don't say words they don't know. Uh, and there you go. $5,000 for rent, four to six months of rent approximately. Let's get to the next pot of money. And boy... The next pot of money, viewers is killing it. One viewer two days ago got $5,000 for this. One viewer last week got six to $7,000 of this. If you've gotten any money for this cha channel, whether it's 100 pennies or 100,000 pennies, and I've gotten viewers both, jump in the live chat because it inspires someone else. I get inspired when all these people are getting this money for this next item, and it's Snap. Snap is wonderful. It is money for food. You get it from the Department of Agriculture, so reach out to them to get the money. How much does it pay? A lot. A family of four in Hawaii gets upwards now $16,000 a year. Yes. Why so much money? Because of two wonderful executive orders, one from Biden, one from Trump, that raise your benefits up 15% between now and December. So go get it. And there we go. Lynn Glenn got it for herself, for her mom and her son. Gail got it as well. 
and you're killing it. We're killing it. A 10 minutes of this video, $16,000 approximately for SNAP, family of four in Hawaii, about $5,000 for rent. Well, we got more money. It's starting right now. It is coming back from your state. One viewer got this $5,000. Where is it? What is it? Let's go over the details. States that overpaid you. Unemployment assistance due to computer error. Well, the federal government has stepped in and said, no, now is their computer error, not your computer error, and has ordered the states to send the money back to you, the viewer. Wow, one viewer got this money, $5,000. The federal government said it wasn't your computer that had the error, it was the states. Darn, the, darn that computer. <laughs> so guess where you're going to get that money? To the account you have on file with your state for the unemployment benefits. When? How do you track the check? Call up the Department of Unemployment and ask them to track the money. And when you ask them to track the money, make sure you request they track it with a different computer. <laughs> Don't use the same computer. And then we get to our final pot of money, and it's wonderful. It's the money coming back from IRS that you pay taxes on. Let's go over how much, where, and when, and how to track it. First, how much? It's a lot. Let's say you had $9,000 of total unemployment benefits. You paid $5,000 on that 2020 IRS tax return, of which $4,000 was the tax portion for the unemployment benefits. Congratulations, you gave back $4,000. When? Uh, the, this month. Where? Direct deposit that was on the return, otherwise in the mail. Can you track it? Yeah, about 70% of the time you can. Go to iris.gov, set up a username and password, and go in there and do a transcript search. The transcript search, 70% of the time works. It will reveal the name, your tax return that you filed, the taxes you paid, and the refund check you're getting back. Wow, now that's wonderful news. Can we top that? And we can. The second of your Three parts of the fourth stimulus check update of 2021, starting right now. It's Jalapal. Jalapal came out and said very clearly a series of messages yesterday, uh, this week, with uh, late this week, with another progressive. And then I'm going to show you the analysis of what those comments mean, because the comments are very fascinating. So it started with Jalapal saying the following. The White House has not in any way told us progressives not to do what us progressives are doing. Wow, wonderful. Now, Brian Schatz, Democrat of Hawaii, explains this a little bit more. The White House has re repeatedly reassured him that the White House considers the progressive priorities their own White House priorities, and that the White House has not asked progressives to back off in their support of forced stimulus provisions. Wow. Now, let me explain what this is going on. <laughs> let me explain what's going on, what this means. Forced stimulus is infrastructure. You got that. Well, the president wants adamantly and will go to the mat to ensure that's included in forced stimulus climate and the CARES economy, which refers to seniors and, 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 money, and medicine. So climate and the CARES economy are not of a structure. They are progressive principles that he are, is adamant that they're included in force stimulus. Otherwise, he's not going to prove it. He's going to veto it. So he has turned to a respective group to ensure that they're in there and that respective group fights to keep them in there. And who's that group? The progressives, of course, because they're progressive policies, two progressive policies, climate and also cares economy. So what is the, I rub your back, you rub my back part of the situation? That if the progressives continue to support the president's inclusion of two progressive policies, that the president will continue to support and let the progressives add in other progressive policies. And you know which ones the, that one is. You know what the other progressive policy is that Jalapal and team are putting in there. The monthly stimulus check. Jalapal and the team, monthly stimulus check. The president and his team, those two progressive policies. Climate and the CARES economy. And there you go. Next, this week, coming week, call the vote. The reconciliation process goes to voting. I'll go over all that incredible, exciting details. That's after the president had enough of all this, said, you know what, call the vote. I'm tired of all this. Call the vote. And he's been watching his deadlines. He's a former senator, so he knows how long it takes to do a recon. But how did we get to this wonderful place? 
we got to this wonderful place the Friday before Memorial Day weekend, when Lena Schumer confirmed three breaking news stories that I've been reporting on this channel. One, the reconciliation process is already underway. Number two, the reconciliation process will finish by July 4th. And number three, it'll finish with a passage on the reconciliation. Well, how do we get to that point? Jalapal again. <laughs> All the roads go back to Jalapal. Jalapal had written Schumer a letter uh, and sh that letter to Jalapal had said, Chuck, call the vote. Well, what's interesting is that Jalapal's letter was co-signed by 12 House Democrats. And those 12 House Democrats are among the 100 plus House Democrats who had written the president a letter a week earlier saying, Mr. President, we're going to put monthly stimulus checks as the fourth stimulus package. Wow. Now that's wonderful news. Can we top that? Yes, we can. When seven House Democrats wrote the president a letter about a week ago, saying, Mr. President, when we write the fourth stimulus, we're going to be putting monthly stimulus checks in there. Well, who are these people to say that? What do they do for a living? They're on the House subcommittee that's solely and exclusively responsible for writing stimulus checks in the U.S. House of Representatives. Wow. Did they write the first stimulus check? They did. Did they write the second stimulus check? They did. Did they write the third stimulus check? They did. Did they write the fourth? They say they are. They say they're currently marking up the bill, and they say they're going to be putting four stimulus checks in there as well. Are they writing fifth stimulus checks? They are, and that's coming up in the second half of this video. Wow, now that's wonderful. Can we top that? We can, and that's where Biden did it. Last Saturday, a week ago today, Biden did it. He signed into law a major ancillary international agreement that anchors forced stimulus right to the edge of the finish line by no longer needing certain provisions of forced stimulus because they're in the, in, the, in the international agreement. I'll explain the details of this starting right now. It started on a recent Tuesday ago. When I said to you the president was doing something complicated, I need to slow it down. So I'm going to slow it down right now. Fourth stimulus is paid for by raising the U.S. corporate tax rate. That means the rate that corporations in the United States pay in taxes. Well, the president said he was worried about doing that. He said that if he raised the U.S. corporate tax rate, then U.S. corporations may move to another country so they find a lower corporate tax rate. Pretty simple. So he reached out to those other countries and had them agree to all raise their lowest corporate tax rate. And they tentatively said yes. To which the president then told his legislative insiders that recent Tuesday ago, this is going pretty well. After four stimulus has passed, then maybe in December I'll go back to those countries and have them say on the dotted line. And if they do, then I'll remove those provisions for four stimulus about corporate taxes that would be covered in the international agreement. Well, he surprised everyone. And I gave you the tip off about a week ago. And the tip-off was the president was trying to do this before for stimulus. And a week ago today, Biden did it. He went overseas for his first international trip as president and got those G7 countries to sign on the dotted line now before for stimulus is passed to anchor for stimulus right to the edge of the finish line so that the provisions are not really needed in the for stimulus package because they're now in the international agreement. Now making it easier to pass for stimulus because those provisions are no longer needed. Easier for those Democrats to finish it. And there you go. That is wonderful news, and that is the second or third part of your Force Stimulus Check Update of 2021. In the third part, we're going to go over the voting next week and the confusion and how I make it simple for you, and also the timing. We'll also go over the excitement about fist stimulus with raising your benefits up and why it may be going up a lot more than anyone thought even middle of this week. But first, something even more wonderful the volunteers. If you need help with rent, utilities, and mortgage assistance, reach out to the volunteers. They embody the true purple power spirit, viewers helping viewers. And if they are available for you across the country. So open the description of this video, go down the description, you'll see an emoji of a house. Next to that emoji of a house is the community page. It says community page, news.la.com forward slash community. Click the link and it'll send you over to the community page. It has a picture of some kitty cats. Lower on the page of the volunteers. To separate from Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, reach out to them and they'll help you get that money. And with that, here's a little bit about the community page. I'll be back in 60 seconds with exciting news still about four stimulus and fifth stimulus on this early morning's broadcast. If you want money right now, not five days from now, and not five weeks from now, then reach out to the community page. The volunteers can help you find that money for rent and utilities. That's at news.la.com forward slash community. The community page features a series of volunteers who are viewers like you. They can help you find rent, utilities, SNAP, food benefits, mortgage assistance, 
and help you with eviction moratorium questions as well. Their Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram individuals reach out to them and indicate the city and state you're from, and they'll get back to you shortly. That's a community page. Volunteers working for you, viewers helping one another. Stay with LA for more. Join LA Late Daily for the excitement of the new LA Late Live Daily. The excitement starts on mornings LA Late at 9 a.m. LA Late returns at 11 a.m. daily. And then afternoons LA Late at 1 p.m. Join us daily as the excitement continues live from Santa Monica on LA Late. The toast is toast, toasting, the butter is butter, and the coffee is brewing. And the cappuccino is cappuccini. <laughs> I don't know how you do that one. Uh, how are you? It's early mornings, LA. I hope you're having a beautiful Saturday morning. A cappuccino, a cafe, a you know, cafe latte, or whatever it is. Thank you for joining me on a big early mornings broadcast. Subscribe, 400,000 subscribers on YouTube record. I want you part of this family. I don't want you to miss a single video across the board. Like this video, two, three thousand likes. It really helps in the algorithm rankings. It also helps in the weather. And consider becoming a member. Let, after this video is over, stay on this video. It'll automatically take you to Overnight's Crypto that's currently airing on this channel. But we got a lot of stuff to go over. Let's go right to Fifth Stimulus right off the bat. A lot of breaking news. Number one, Fifth Stimulus check. Yes, there will be a Fifth Stimulus check. Those same Senate, those same House Democrats represent, they'll be writing a fourth Fifth Stimulus check. When? Likely January. This is a January 2022 check. Remember, fourth stimulus this year, fifth stimulus next year. Uh, this is exciting news. This would likely go to a final vote by November, December, November, October this year. Second, the president's dedicating $1 billion to Social Security to ensure you get checks on time. This is great news. As fourth stimulus, fifth stimulus, the, the, stimul the benefits checks, which I'm going to talk about in a second, it's important that you get them on time. We had a debacle of this in third stimulus with the, all the checks coming in waves and late and they didn't know about you. So this, could, this is wonderful and wonderful news to ensure you get benefits on time. Number three, the... Federal Chair, Federal Reserve Chair of St. Louis? What did he do? <laughs> yeah, this is a weird one. So who would have predicted this in the year 2021? Uh, your federal chair, the whole chair, J J Jay Powell, um, the, the, the boss of the boss, the number one guy, he on Wednesday said, uh, this economy needs some more support, so I'm going to continue to support it. I'm not going to start removing the support or tapering yet. Uh, I'm not going to raise interest rates until 2023, uh, which are called spikes. No, no interest rate spikes until 2023. And uh, inflation is hot at the moment. It was warm, but I'm not going to worry about it. That was Wednesday. And then Friday, uh, yeah, that one guy from St. Louis, he came out and said, uh, well, I think of those spikes may be next year. Excuse me? <laughs> That's not what we were told on Wednesday. He said, yeah, maybe it'll be on Wednesday. Uh, and uh, maybe it'll be next year. And then he said, uh, the inflation's running a little too hot. Uh, excuse me? <laughs> That's a little worrisome. And then he said, yeah. Um, so there's there's a lot of other concerns I'm worried about. Yes, that was uh, that caused Wall Street to go down 500 points, caused crypto to crash. And, but the great news is it makes your benefits go up. Yeah, that's sort of a weird 2021 analysis. Let's go over what's at issue here under fifth stimulus. Fifth stimulus, we're trying to understand how that benchmark will be when it's applied the first time. This stimulus first raises your benefits up one time, but then applies that benchmark every December for the next year. The new benchmark will be inflation. So when they apply the benchmark in December, what will be the inflation rate? Well, we saw the CPI and the PPI this week indicate that inflation is heading maybe to 10%. We're currently at about 4%, some analysts think, and then it's gonna be transitory, temporary, reach a big spike and then come back down. Well, when's that spike? You have to hope that spike of 10% potentially is around when they apply your benefits in November, December. Let's go over that, how that works. First, they'll raise your benefits up one big time. Then they'll remove the asset limit, add inflationary benchmark, remove the income exclusion, and remove the marriage penalty. All right, let's go over 
how this calculates for you. First, they'll raise your benefits up one big time. Who's you? You, if you're on SSI, SSDI, Social Security, Railroad Benefits, Veterans Benefits, Survivor Benefits, Multiple Benefits, raised up one time. Then, every December, they apply the benchmark for next year. Well, we got to hope that that benchmark of inflation, that inflation is at its highest spot right when they're applying it because that would be perfect timing for your benefits. Here's an example. If it reaches that spike of 10% when they do the benchmark in November, December, then your benefits would be raised 10%, not just next year, lifetime. Because benefits step up, they never step down. There you go. But what else is in fist stimulus with this SSI reform? They're going to remove the asset cap dating back to 1980s law that says you can't have more than $3,000 on hand. It's going to go away and you'll be able to have <laughs> some stimulus checks in your hand. Uh, they're going to remove the 1960s law that says you can't work. Now you'll be able to work and stay on benefits. And they're going to remove the marriage penalty. Horrible rule. Penalizes you if you're married, prevents you from getting married for fear of losing benefits. Now love is going to win. You'll be able to marry your long-time love interest and no longer fear the marriage penalty. Viewers like Rob and Sandy will be able to marry. And there you go. That is fifth stimulus. But boy, there's a lot more money in fifth stimulus, fourth stimulus, and third stimulus than that. And that's why it's valuable to become a member. The membership links at the top of the chat and in the pinned comment. Members are delivered daily from me a breakdown of everything that's in third, fourth, and fifth stimulus. It's important to know it because it's thousands of dollars for you. A lot of it, most of it, is application-based. So you don't know it unless you read it. I break down all the details and deliver it via the YouTube community page daily. So you see the thousands of dollars that you can get from third stimulus across the board. Which brings us back now to four stimulus in our third of three updates three parts of the four stimulus check of 2021 today. I'm going to be going over four items. First, personal message. Second, routing time, uh, next week's voting. Third, fake narratives, which is a strange U-Haul twist. <laughs> I never saw this one coming. Uh, and also purple power. All right, number one, personal message. You've been doing a great job with this. It was a week ago today, and there was 12 tweets in 12 hours. And I said that was not going to work. And you have really turned it around. About 100 tweets an hour, really doing a wonderful job. You've also been great in distancing yourself from anyone who is donut-ish or trying to play the stimulus uh, psychic network game. Yeah, whether it's at the water cooler or on the front porch or your dad, your sister, just really distancing yourself from it. Why? Because this is not something to be speculating about. You can't speculate about it. I think, I don't think, what do you think? What's your opinion of? What's your opinion of? Who cares what you know, someone's opinion of? You have no idea. No one has any idea of their opinion of the situation. Uh, early in this video, we talked about marking up the bill. That means that they have a draft of the bill in one hand and they have a pen in the other hand. The pen on one side has ink and on the other side has an eraser. Well, at any moment, they could be erasing the provision of the fifth four stimulus package you really love and could be erasing it out of it, could be gone. Or at any moment, they could be taking the ink part and adding something in there that is wonderful that you've always wanted to have included. So you can't be speculating on this. Uh, second, uh, this channel has always had overnight videos always had overnight videos since the very beginning of uh, very, very beginning. But some people who are not subscribers or members have been watching the overnight videos and have heard them and have now thought that the way I look at that overnight video, those overnight videos from last year is how I look right now. I mean, you can clearly tell it's not the same time. You can tell these flowers have been in the set now for, I've had flowers in the set, what, for like five months, four months, uh, and th th that set is bare and dismal and bland. And you can tell it's not from now. But some people are watching some of those overnight videos and saying, uh, so you're talking about checks coming in December? This is horrible. No, that those are those are throwback videos. <laughs> so uh, don't get confused. It, it says throwback in the title. <laughs> Throwback means throwback. Uh, let's throw back. There you go. Uh, and the throwback videos are very important because they show you how things are done to get bills passed. It's very important to learn how bills get passed. Um, third, um, there's always someone who jumps in the comments and says something along the lines of, so are we getting a stimulus check? Yes or no? That's donut. If, don't, if, you, if you are that person you're watching and you, just, and you literally write yes or no, are we getting a stimulus check? Yes or no? Then you... 
either don't care to know how legislators work or you really are playing a game because it's not a law yet. It's not law yet. If it was a bill uh, and it had you're getting a Rolls Royce in it, would you go out and buy the rims for it yet before you get the Rolls Royce? No, because it hasn't passed yet. Um, and so no one in their right mind thinks the bill has signed been signed into law yet. So, you know, there's always that person that says, just tell me yes or no. Well, no, I'm not. This is not a yes, no channel. <laughs> and I, I'm, uh, but I, I, I do have a question for you. Are you all there? <laughs> yes or no? Are you all together? No, I, yes or no? Just, just tell me, are you all together? Because everyone knows that it's not, not a law yet. Yeah. Don't you know that? Yes or no? So, <laughs> There you go. Let's go to routing times. Of routing times, there's nine steps that are starting in this coming Monday. And it's important to know that they can combine steps of voting together, um, but they cannot do the Votorama in the Senate any faster than that. So of uh, the nine steps, two of the steps cannot be done any faster. Let's go over the nine steps. Five, seven, and eight are the most important ones. Step one. House calls, House subcommittee calls a vote on the procedural bill. Step two, the House floor votes on the procedural bill. Step three, the Senate votes on the procedural bill. Step four, the President signs a procedural bill into law. The tow truck is passed over the fish line. Step five, there you go. The House subcommittee that's been marking up the bill calls it for a vote. That's the subcommittee that could put the monthly stimulus check in there. Step six, the House votes on the sums of the bill. Here we go. Step seven and eight, the two-day votorama in the Senate. In the Senate, the senators receive the House bill. At that point, the senators have three possibilities. Amend, not amend, or amend. <laughs> Number one, if there's no stimulus checks in there, they can amend and add them in there. If the senators receive a House bill with stimulus checks in there, they can leave it alone. Or if, they re if the senators receive a House bill with stimulus checks in there, they don't particularly like something about it, they can amend. And finally, step nine, the president signs into law. Fake narratives. Um, it's important to really be prepared for today and Sunday. You know what Sunday is. If you're with me in 2020, you know what Sunday is. It's broadcast media talking head day. Face the nation, Jake Tapper. What is his name? Jack. Uh, uh, I was confusing with the guy from Three's Company. <laughs> what was his name on Three's Company? Uh, J Jack. J I, I don't know. Uh, you know, it's it's all those Sunday morning talking heads, and I just fully believe they're gonna book someone like Mitch McConnell's nephew on the channel on one of those shows. Say, yeah, never gonna happen. I just I. Don't want to hear the comments. Fake narrative, fake narrative. So you need to be listening to three people all the way to the finish line. Uh, four people. The President, Jalapal, Schumer, and myself in this community. Don't be listening to anything else. Fake narratives yesterday started with U-Haul trucks from Democrats. What? Yeah, so some Democrats who have been known to fold like lawn chairs, and you know who I'm talking about, have been saying, uh, I'm not voting for it unless... It has what's in my U-Haul truck. And you go look in the U-Haul truck. It's like, what's in there? A Brussels sprouts bill. We want a special bill that you can grow Brussels sprouts uh, in, in special um, uh, uh, income, in, in special greenhouses uh, seven hours a day uh, in upper upstate of Vermont. What? What are you doing? This doesn't belong in this bill. Well, I'm not voting for it unless you have the Brussels sprouts provision in there. They were all doing that on Friday. <laughs> <laughs> they were all doing that Friday. So ignore it. Ignore it. Just sort of brush it away. Don't focus on it because I expect this to happen, whether it's a GOP or the Democrats. Uh, they're all going to be doing this sort of strange stuff they do at the very 11th hour. Just listen to those four people. Final Purple Power Push. You've been doing a great job about this. Continue it. Um, who should you be tagging? Expand your tagging. Include progressives. Include the Progressive House Caucus Twitter handle. The Progressive House Caucus's chair. It's vice chair. The progressives in the House. The Progressive Caucus of the Senate and its members. Tag them. Tag them. Hashtag MSC. Hashtag Purple Power. Also, another viewer had a great comment yesterday, which was just retweet a lot also. Go into social media and look at the Purple Power tweets and just retweet a lot of other people's tweets because that counts as well. Finally, if you're not good on social media, you should be picking up the phone, calling your elected official, talking to their staffers in the D.C. office. Talk to the staffers. Don't just send an email or something like that. It's better to talk to people and vocalize your concern. Um, 
And we learned Thursday, we need stimulus checks. Thursday's jobless number was out and it was bad. It showed more jobless claims than the week before, meaning new people going on unemployment that had never been on unemployment before. And with that, thank you for joining me on an early morning's broadcast. I'm next back with you on Overnight's Crypto. Stay on this video. Within six seconds after this video is over, it'll take you automatically into the Overnight's Crypto broadcast. But I'm next then after with you, then with you on Mornings Allied. It'll be live on air direct from Santa Monica this Saturday morning. So subscribe, 400,000 subscribers. I want you part of this family. Like this video, two, 3,000 likes, and consider becoming a member. Purple Hawk, Purple Power, Calcino VIP. Subscribe and like. Make sure you do it and share the videos and get those tweets going. Stay informed, stay focused. Have a beautiful Saturday morning and stay here throughout the day. I don't want you to miss anything across the board. There's going to be a lot of breaking news, I expect, all weekend long because they are working. And I am. Stay informed, stay focused, and stay informed.